Hey, Mark King here, and this is a good story. This is from the Daily Star. This is by Yuzilia Khan. And um, it's of interest, you know. It's, it's something interesting that should have been more talked about. Maybe it was, but again, I don't really watch nightly news. I don't watch TV. I just don't bother. <sighs> Why would I bother with nonsense? Anyway. Scientists warn of freezing weather, famine, and earthquakes as sun goes into lockdown. <laughs> Forget the headline, right? So as the world goes into lockdown to control the pandemic, the sun is going through its own lockdown as it entered a period of solar minimum and its activity decreases. Okay, I'm one of these guys who actually believes in... Um, I, I do not believe in uh, climate change at all. Uh, for various aspects, various reasons, um, it's, 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 has, it's not scientifically proven. Um, two, it's uh, the more dastly thing is it's going to be used to to basically tax citizens, tax the world population in the guise of environmentalism. It's going to be used to take away your freedoms. Okay, again, my belief system is it, the Earth is there for you to use. Oh, jeez, the Earth is there for you to use, and it isn't it isn't there for for the earth to use you essentially okay that's as simple as that right so this has to do with actually by the daily star this has to do with sunspots right uh, I'm a big believer of like the earth go through um, warming and cooling periods just simply due to the sun now it, it's what people use to um, to challenge climate change is they used um, they used uh, grass over history and like you see every uh, 10,000 years, some people say 4,000 years away, they, um, the earth cools and warms again, okay? So, and we're due for a cooling period, essentially. Okay, this is all this is. That's okay. That means we should, um, we should, uh, we should push for more, uh, how to say, it's global warming <laughs> to counterbalance the sun, okay? Alright? Knowing these nutcases who, uh, who subscribe to this stuff they'll claim we polluted the sun <laughs> so the sun is going to uh, so we should really try to do a campaign we've polluted the sun so now the sun won't uh, give us any more heat anymore they'll actually believe it probably because that's how nuts they are anyway as the sun the period of solar minimum is technically decreased sunspots are cool planet side areas of the sun where intense uh, magnetic loops poke through the star's visible surface explains space weather this means where 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 hmm, this means where could be entering we could be entering that's what it should say there or we are we are entering one of the deepest periods of sun recession which could trigger long periods of cold and famine the key word here is could Right, this this is uh, being a bit apocalyptic. Anyway, astronomer Dr. Tony Phelps said solar minimum is underway and in the deep one. All right, sunspot comes to just the deepest. Uh, it was one of the deepest uh, of the century. It's talking about the the, the essentially the core period or we might be entering. The sun's magnetic field has become weak, allowing extra cosmic rays into the solar system. Excess cosmic rays pose a health hazard to astronauts or polar air travelers, affect the electrochemistry of the Earth's upper atmosphere and may help trigger lightning. The world could suffer from famine as temperatures plummet by up to two, I guess two degrees Celsius over 20 years. Uh, reports the sun again. This is why we need to use the Earth. Okay, God wants us <laughs> to warm the Earth. Okay. Just to prevent the the, the sun <laughs> from uh, cooling us down, okay. Anyway, space weather reveals so far they say the sun has seen uh, been blank seventy six percent of the time. That's pretty. I don't know much about stats, but that's pretty high. <laughs> it rained surpassed only once before in the space age last year, twenty nineteen. The sun was blank seventy seven percent of the time. Wow, two consecutive years of uh, recording spotlessness adds up to a very deep uh, solar minimum indeed. Okay, is that all right? It's been reported by the Sun, the NASA scientist fair repeat of this in the 1790 
and 1830 Dalton minimum which led the period of intense cold and powerful volcanic eruptions has anybody ever seen like um like before a volcano erupts even when it's erupting or, or whatever um ugh my mind anyway uh, you see how there's lightning strikes when there's earthquakes there's also lightning strikes it's kind of interesting you know, I'm not sure the scientific reason behind it I'm sure something to do with electrons or charge in the air or air particles who the hell knows you know, well somebody knows I just <laughs> I just did a bunch of research for this story <laughs> anyway um, the sun recession led to a devastating volcanic eruption in 2000 years um, in 1816 in Indonesia which killed 71,000 uh, people wow although the last uh, solar minimum occurred in 2013 and 2014 it was ranked among the weak I wish they give us the stats of uh, 2013 and 2014 that would have been an interesting comparison we can compare the weather of uh, this time period to what's happening now. but again I thought it was an interesting story again I don't believe in um, uh, global warming you know, I believe in um, weather patterns, store history, having to do with sun, sunspots. Again, people should be able to debate these things freely. There's your stats. There's my stats. Let people draw their own conclusions. But because we live in the upside down, that it's now illegal to um, to debate ideas. Again, this is this is something I built up for the past forty years, and here we are. It was great. I, I assume the golden era in America was from like nineteen. Let's say you know freedom. When when do you think well, when do you think freedom is and the technology age was pushed, maybe nineteen forties to like the nineteen late nineteen nineties to maybe early two thousands. Like that's when all the crappy music starts to uh, being pushed. I can't stand modern music. Oh my goodness, it's horrible. I've heard Taylor Swift sing. My God, she has no voice. She's terrible. Why do people pay for these concerts? She's terrible. Maybe she writes good uh, lyrics, but I can't find it. But again, maybe it's a female thing where they like her lyrics. But she's, she's, I mean, she's an awful singer. She has no vocals. She is terrible. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know why this led to Taylor Swift, but it did. Anyway, take care, share, stay subscribe, thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. Man, Taylor Swift was terrible.